Jamie. So I'm back today with another video and to start off, I want to ask you all a question. Do you ever have times in your life where you want to make a change, but that change is really scary? It might create some stress and anxiety. It might create results that are unknown and it is something that might be vulnerable to you as well. The rewards of this change might be really big and great, but on the other hand, if you don't succeed at making the change, the failures are even worse and scarier. I get it. This stuff is scary and making these decisions to make a change or not can be one of the most scariest things that you can ever do. If these are something that's keeping you from pursuing that change that you want to make. I invite you to continue watching this video because I'm going to be introducing and teaching you all a tool that will help you make better decisions that help create and move you towards progress for your life. So before I get started, I want to talk a little bit about change and how change is really inevitable. But one thing about change is that um, even though it's in inevitable and sometimes change might be negative or positive, what we really want to strive for, I believe, as human beings is progress. So change is inevitable, but we need to work con to continue to work towards progress. So this tool is something that will help you progress in your life. It has definitely helped me progress within my own life. This tool that I'm about to teach you has helped me make decisions on whether my gender transition was the right thing for me. It has helped me make decisions on whether gender surgery was right for me. As well, it has given me um, the power and empowerment to make the decisions of whether to live out as a proud and out trans woman. It has also given me the mindset and awareness to change jobs, go back to school. It has really helped me make a lot of decisions within my life. I've also learned this tool within my coaching education that has helped many of my clients pursue similar change in landmark change and progress within their own life as well. So what is this tool? So this tool is called decisional balance. Decisional balance is the opportunity for you guys to make a decision for your life. It is weighing the pros and the cons of staying the same versus making the change towards progress. So what you do to create a decisional balance guide and worksheet is create a place with four quadrants as you see here. On the left side, I have stay the same benefits, stay the same costs, change benefits, as well as change costs. So for my example, I'm going to be showing you guys pursuing coaching for an example. Um, this decision making can be based on anything. It could be based on whether transition, coming out, quitting a job, or maybe talking to a boss about having more time off, relationships, family, friends, etc. Any decision that you make, you can usually use the decisional balance. So what we want to do is I'm going to start here on stay the same benefits. So if you were not to pursue coaching and you wanted to stay the same, one benefit might be life is known. You know, life is very comfortable. A lot of people find comfort in the known. And so that might be a benefit of staying the same is being comfortable and having things that are known. However, some of the other benefits might be people you know are um, one of the, some of the other benefits might be people know you as the same person and you get to spend money elsewhere. You know, instead of spending money on coaching, you might be able to go out and have a extra Chipotle lunch or something like that, for example. And for you, that benefit of having that Chipotle lunch is more beneficial than having a co coaching session. So that's just one example. Um, then we move down to stay the same cost. So what are some of the costs of staying the same as you currently are? So life stays the same for you. And maybe for a lot of you, um, you don't want life to stay the same as you currently are, as it currently is. Um, with that, because life is still the same, you might have higher stress and anxiety. People you know you as the same. So a lot of people present themselves in a way that they don't want to be known for. Maybe they want to be known or you want to be known as someone different. Um, and this might be a cost of yours is people won't know you as that different person. People are going to know you as that same person. Um, another thing is you lose potential on who you could be. So not only will people know the same, but then you lose that potential on this ideal self that you envision yourself to be in the near future or far future. Another thing is you don't live the life you love. So it might be a life that you're comfortable with, but it's a life that you don't really love to live. 
So that is something that might cause of coaching, of not pursuing coaching and staying the same. So then we move over to what are the change costs? So one thing about coaching is, yes, it does cost money. And as I mentioned, this money, you might find more beneficial spending elsewhere. But what I hope people find and negate this change cost is that I do income based coaching. That means I think coaching should be affordable to everyone. And because I think coaching should be in affordable to everyone, I do individual pricing based on your income. So hopefully that will help you a seek out affordable coaching and find that pursuit of who you want to be. But that's just a little side tangent there. But in general, one of the costs might be, yeah, it costs you money. Another thing is time. So coaching can be maybe once a week for an hour. It could be every two weeks for an hour. And maybe you, that hour of time is something that is very precious and valuable for you. And that's something that you're not willing to give up, or it might be a cost of changes. You're giving up that hour once a week. So what are some of the benefits maybe of coaching of making this change? So maybe one of the change benefits is you make the change to desire that idea, that big reward that you imagine yourself of making when you do change. Um, that change becomes reality when you do seek out coaching. Another one is you find a self you love because you made that change you desire. You finally find yourself in a way that you love yourself more and you just find the self that you love. Another benefit is you create a tool set of to overcome things that um, were keeping you stuck. So maybe you didn't, this might be an unexpected benefit, but maybe a lot of the things that gave you stress and anxiety through coaching and because of coaching, you're able to create new ways or build on old, old ways that help you overcome these stress and anxiety provoking features. And you really feel like you can overcome these things by a snap of the fingers. And that is one of the big costs or sorry, change benefits that you have for seeking out coaching. Another thing is you invest in yourself. So as I mentioned, coaching might cost money, but as buying a house, it costs money up front. But typically when you sell that house, you're going to make more money on it. So then not only that, you get to develop, you get to grow as well as you get to flourish in yourself. And because you're a beautiful person that can now flourish because you've sought out coaching, um, you make a better you. And because you are a better you, you get to make the world a better place. So this is just a long example of how making decisional balance can be something that's very important for you. So as I mentioned, this decisional balance is something that really benefited me and has really benefited benefited a lot of my clients. This is just one example of coaching and maybe how coaching and a decisional balance might be beneficial for you. But you can use this tool for many things, like as I mentioned, transition, work, anything that you need to make a decision on, on whether you want to stay the same or make this change. And then you can add up the two columns on each side and really decide for yourself, is this something that you want to pursue or not? Maybe it's not the time now, and that's definitely okay. But one thing that some people might find out when they make these decisional balance worksheets is by writing it out and seeing what might be some of the, the costs and benefits, it makes a lot of the scary things a lot less scary. And so that is one thing that you can make a plan to overcome some of the scary things and make your change a lot easier. So in conclusion, I really highly suggest if you are contemplating some change in your life, whether that's seeking out coaching, transitioning, making a work decision, a professional decision, a family decision, definitely try out this decisional balance. It is something that I'm sure will benefit you. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I look forward to seeing you all next time in my next video, and I hope you all have a great time in between then. Thanks so much. Once again, I'm Coach Jamie, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye.